Hi guys, it is Project Gamer Mike. We are back with another event video. We are going to be looking at the Titanic excavation in this video. We've got some brand new event things going on. Brand new, brand spanking new. So we're going to be hopefully, hopefully, going to be going over that. It seems fairly straightforward, to be honest. It's a fairly straightforward thing, um, which is, which is, you know, it's good in a way, but also like, you know, it's a little bit boring if it's just too straightforward. Anyway, people like straightforward. So, you know, we've got the, you know, the dear lords and ladies, the Titanic excavation's begun. Attack the boss. So we've got this fancy boss that we need to, uh, we need to beat, um, or just attack by the looks of it. Uh, dig the mine, collect as many valuable rewards as possible. And it is actually jam-packed, actually, full of, of pretty useful things. Um, to, you know, towards Titans. Yuck. Um, the trophies of the Titanic excavation are waiting for you let's have a look so we got this this chap out here short circuit whatever his name is well of course yeah we're going to get get through the offers quickly they love to throw those down our neck um so it looks a bit like this this is brand new i when, I, when this first popped up on my screen i kind of felt like oh it's very similar to a, a treasure hunt event we just need to smash around these tiles but we don't we kind of need to like you know you know those really weird silly ads you watch and you know there's people digging down and they find something and they go back up and blah 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 it's similar to that we just need to you know hit these tiles collect these things here that's basically it <laughs> um but anyway look well you know we'll go through i'm gonna buy some buy some hammers or whatever they're called because I, I don't have any and um i don't have much time today to do a video um so yeah, so as you can see here, I've already got some 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 items. Um, I get items given to me as as per the uh, content creator program. I've got a video on it somewhere. If you're interested in in trying to be a content creator to get these rewards for review and testing and things like that and showcasing, go ahead and do it. Um, so these are all the special rewards. These are the only rewards you'll be able to find. As you can see here, a lot of them are to do with the Titan. The Titan stuff, which is incredibly dull for most people, but you know, I've I've got you know a couple of these so far. Haven't got an essence yet. I've got um, yeah, got loads of loads of good stuff. Plenty of tickets, which is I like. I like tickets. Me. Um, we've got plenty of these things. Plenty of you know light things, whatever these are called, orange sparks. We've got loads of nice good stuff going on. So um, it's it's I feel like it's really jam packed, um, full of goodies. Um. These things here just help, you know, if you do buy a pass, I'll, I'll, I'll have a look at these to see exactly if, you know, at the moment, um, well, no, we'll get into it, we'll get into it, come on, let's go. So, uh, so these are the items, these are the items, so we've got a wand, so we've, we've already got this equipped on our, um, who have we got it on, we've got it on our ice angler, so I've already tested it on that, actually, let's look at it at the ice angler so we can see, like, the, you know, the kind of benefits we're going to get once it's put into a set ability. So here we are. So we and this is also with the rune. So once in a while, the unit fires a magic arrow at a random enemy every half a second for four seconds. So that's a lot. Uh, on hit, the arrow deals pure damage. Pure damage. So it can go up to two hundred and fifty thousand um, per hit. Um, plus all the spell power. If you can scale this right up, great. And it drains the life force for two point five seconds. While on life force, the unit deals. Uh, 30% less damage and takes 30% more damage stacks up to three times so we can get a good 90% taking more damage with this with this guy here also the unit um, hit by the arrow is frozen great let's get some frozen things going on to boost up our um, set abilities in general and then we've got once once frozen the unit can't move or attack for two and a half seconds also the, this is the good part the cooldown times of their gear target gear abilities any gear um, is increased by 2.5 seconds and also the artifact as well perfecto now very 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 good um, in my opinion this is this is a top top item it's a top item it's a top item now we have got loads of top items at the moment particularly ones we've got loads we you know we we, we, we can't i've got I think four maybe or maybe even five ones in my team um you could say this is like on par with one, two or three, like the top three ones in the game. But just because they're top three doesn't mean you should be putting all top three into your team because maybe you need other ones that are not as good on paper, but needed. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? <laughs> right. So I wouldn't necessarily put this into my team if um, I was going to lose this, for example. 
I wouldn't put that in my team if I was going to lose. Who else we got? Um, you know, this for example. You know, so we really need to think about like what what we've got um, and what's absolutely needed to not you know break up the synergy too much. It's never a good idea to change loads of things in your team all at once. Do one thing at a time and slowly, slowly, you know, take things out, put things in, so you can make sure you're not going to completely break your synergy. That's never a good thing. Um, so, but it's a very, very good wand. Now, the problem I've got with this wand, there's a problem, there is a problem, is that now this chap here is now susceptible to being stunned because my old wand that I had, which was, where is it? Where is my old wand? Uh, this one here. So once you put the rune of the, this thing on here, um, I'm immune to stun throughout the fight. So if you take that wand out, people are going to start using stuns, right? And also, um, the brand new ring that's in this event uh, hits like a tank, and also it can you can be stunned, right? So for me, it's not number one. I would not be using this in my opinion, <laughs> for me anyway, I would not be using it here. If I've got this wand here, the alchemist wand, I would not be using it on this guy here, and especially with this rune. If, I mean, I really, really want this guy to be as protected as possible. This is your, your prime damage dealer at the moment. Um, if you can get the kind of gears that I've got going on here, um, it's it's number one. Yeah, so you want you, know, you really want to focus and protect this guy because it's, it's doing everything pretty much at the moment um, for a lot of people. So, I'm I'm probably going to take this out and I will possibly move it somewhere else if I feel like I can really take out something else. Um I I think I think I may try take it out for this one possibly. Possibly. I'm going to have to think about it. Well, this is doing loads of nice pure damage as well. It, yeah, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. I need to see I'll do some tests anyway, but it's, it's anyway. So look, so let's talk about that ring quickly while we're here, um, because it is a nice ring, and I've I've put it on already. Because you know, if you don't have that wand, you're going to get hurt. Your eyes, you know, the idea is disable as, as best as you can the opposition's ice angler, right? So if they're not using that wand, and you've got this ring, for example, and they haven't got a paladin or things to remove stun, you're going to disable it. Um, so this is the ring as well. So once in a while, uh, for six seconds. When a debuff is applied to the ring wearer, which is it, it, it's going to be instant. It's going to be instant. There's debuffs going on literally from the start. Uh, the unit deals 250,000 magic damage to all enemies, all enemies, and has a 50% chance uh, to stun each affected enemy for two and a half seconds. So, you know, you really, really, if, you, if someone's got this, you really, really do need to have a paladin or something to remove stun. Okay, uh, that's that. Anyway, so those are the two, you know, for, for me anyway, those are two quite, quite good items from coming out of this event. Let's see what else we got. So we got this, um, we've got the mage outfit. Um, so once in a while, when the unit becomes, Im sorry, the, the unit becomes immune to movement restricting effects, stun, freeze, petrification, or fear only for five seconds. All right, that might do, that might do, because by the time you start, usually you're within astral for, you know, the first, three seconds of the fight um so possibly this might help uh, also during this time the unit gain so if the unit gains a debuff their health spell power and magic armor is increased by 15 percent for four seconds stacks up to 10 times uh, very very good armor I, again there's there's so many good items in the game at the moment there's just so there's just too many just too many um i will test this thing out but I just again I just don't know who I'm gonna have to take out. Again, there's it's a very, very good armor, but there are just some very, very, very needed armors. Very, very needed. You know, so so like this is your 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 key damage dealer. If you don't have this armor, I would suggest putting this armor on your ice angler. Um But if I if I've got that, I don't know where what I would be taking out. I just don't know. I just don't know what I would be taking out. So it's a very, very good armor, but I don't know if I'm going to have to put, I don't know if I need to put this in my team because I've just got so many other good things, right? But this is a very, very good one anyway. Uh, but again, if there's, this is very, very good, but there may be other items that are, that are less as useful as this that you need in your team.
okay so that's that and then with the artifact we don't have the artifact because we don't meet the requirements do like and subscribe to the channel if i do get 5,000 subscribers they will be giving to this as a beta as well so and i can test this for you but this doesn't look very good um have i haven't seen this in, in battle yet there are going to be some people that have got this um that can do some tests for us to you know, see if it's any good but i certainly would not be i'll, I'll get to it look let's let's read this let's read this first so launch is a fireball of um and ice ball at random enemies no idea how many um the fireball deals magic damage to the target and all enemies in the small radius around it equal to 25 percent of the target's max health and sets them on fire so depending on the time this thing casts if it's not instant most people are going to be in astral at the moment so this could be use, uh, useless the burning enemy takes 300,000 magic damage and has their healing rate reduced by 35% for three seconds. That's not a lot. Three seconds. The ice ball uh, deals physical damage uh, to the target and all enemies in a small radius around it equal to 25% of the max health and freezes them. So that part's quite nice. Uh, while frozen, they can't move or attack uh, for three seconds. Also, and I always like these parts here. Um, but again, like there's, there's just, you know, if you're a season, if you're, if you're brand new to the game and you want to spend some money, go ahead and buy this event all, you know all of these four items here could be of use um but this is very strong this is very strong this is very strong um but if you're like me and you've got pretty much everything this is going to be no good to me this will probably be one of those that's going to be like the first replaced so we'll get on to the cost in a minute let's finish off the totem and, and, and the amulet and then we're done talking about stuff so once in a while the unit increases own spell power um and that of all allied mages so i've got I've got eight mages, so everyone's getting a nice 35% boost um, for four seconds. The totem owner also restores one 150,000 plus spell power, health to themselves and all, all of my guys. <laughs> um, they're all going to get a nice health increase. So um, I've got that somewhere dotted in my team as well at the minute. I'm not, I can't quite remember who. I think it's uh, some kind of cultist. This guy here, um, you know. I'm not saying, uh, you know, at the moment, this is, you know, this is, this, this, you know, because we, we, it's, it's helping so many units, this is like a very, very good thing if you're running eight mages. This is like number one almost, you know, this is, this is going to do a significant help to your team. Um, so that's that. And then let's have a quick look at the last item, which is the amulet. So I haven't put this in my team yet. I'm going to put this in right now. I'm going to find the place. We're going to do this right now. So once in a while, the unit casts restoration on three random allies. The less people in your team, the better this is going to be. And you can really target allies for someone like me that's up in eight. Um, you know, who knows where it's going to go. Uh, the allies have a random debuff removed wonderful and restore 200,000 health also their damage is increased by 15% and health by 15% for four seconds if the target has if the target units have 50% or less health before they get restoration they can also go into a frenzy wow nice hopefully this casts a little bit late then or maybe even just after you come out of astral um, they increase in size and all their stats are increased by 15% for four seconds stacks up to five times so this is a very basically if you're brand new to the game every single one of these items would make it into your team so they're all very very good uh, before I do that before I put this into my team somewhere we'll find a nice little place for it I want to talk about the cost right I'm, I'm horrified to be honest that they are um, charging the same amount of money for less items for less items there's no tank there's no warrior stuff and there's no archer stuff and they're still charging us the same amount of money of course for those that were listening earlier on i get the stuff you know to test and i don't need to pay for them but uh, i you know many 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 moons ago i was buying all the events um and if i was still buying them now i'd be very annoyed although it looks like you're getting a pretty good pretty good uh, items for your money so I'm, I'm not too impressed with this but you know the way the way the you know the amount of events that come out the amount of items that they dishing out at the moment um I, I just don't know how they're able to think of new things that you know what to bring out so they're probably really really running out of ideas at the moment or they just need a little bit extra time you know to think of some more things to bring out before they start giving us the full the full uh, the full whack again but um I, you know if, if you're gonna if you're gonna bring out give us less or offer us less items four items less this should be significantly less. Significantly less. Um, 
if you are a seasoned player in this game, um, the best items, in my opinion, are free. The, 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 these three items here, 100% are going into my team. Um, these items here, eh, eh, they're good, but you know, for someone that's got everything, it, or pretty much everything, it, yeah, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna cut the mustard for me. So anyway, look, I, I, I wanna, I wanna quickly look at my team to see what we've got going on in terms of uh, amulets, so we can put this amulet in our team quickly before I forget, because I'm very forgetful uh, when I'm doing videos. So let's have a look. So I'm, I'm not too. I used to love this amulet, but I'm, at the moment, I'm just, I'm just kind of, eh, I'm a little bit not impressed with it at the moment. It's not doing as much help as what it used to. So I'm I'm kind of feeling like you know this unit in general is not staying alive as long as what it used to. There's you know too many debuffs and disabling things going on at the moment um, that it's just not doing too much with the with with the kind of thing that I want it to do. So I need to think about whether this is this amulet's got to go for something else. Um, but due to the fact that this new amulet does a lot of healing, I kind of want it in my priest guys somewhere so i'm kind of thinking about somewhere in priest um but then all you know i mean obviously i've got very good items as well so i need to think about if i take this out somewhere i need you know because this isn't really doing a lot of healing um so I, if i want this i need to move this now somewhere else as well so you know it's not that straightforward this is an old but gold um amulet uh this is this is a very good amulet very good amulet. Um, this is absolutely needed. I'm not even going to entertain that. This is needed. Not going to entertain that. Uh, and this is something that's kind of like what you would expect to put into a priest um, alliance. So I'm I'm thinking. I mean, yeah. I mean, look. I mean, look. Look at the amulets I've got. You know. You know. What, what do you even take out? So I'm thinking that maybe what I want to do is swap this one out. Although this is very good, and maybe I might move that here. But I do want to. I do want to. I do want to test this thing. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe this might need to go. But you know, this isn't. Uh, I need to see once in a while. The amulet where an all allies in a small radius take thirty five percent less damage for four seconds. I mean, it, I. I don't think this is probably doing much at the moment. To be honest, nowadays, with the massive amounts of burst damage going on and and huge, you know, radio areas that you, you you can attack nowadays. So maybe this also might need to go easy to get rid of shields and stuff as well so may, maybe this one might need to go so but anyway i want to put it here so let's go up here let's go ahead and find that chap good stuff right here so we want to we want to now now we want to find that that amulet where is it the first one to find is the winner where is it is it this one yeah this one there we are so what are what we got going on then so we're going to be going up to thirty-four thousand. well that's nice Let's just go ahead and do that, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to dive into an arena quickly. And while I'm finishing off what to do, we'll do a little bit of testing because I don't want this video to go on too long. We're already at 18 minutes. Anyway, so look, so, you know, let's quickly go ahead and buy some. I don't recommend doing this at all, by the way. I don't recommend doing it, you know, but we've got diamonds to blow. Um, so let's go ahead now and quickly attack this thing. So quick, hang on, look. Keep an eye on what the the element is. Keep an eye on that, right? Um, ideally, you want to have things in your team that's going to counter this element. So what counters this element is the darkness one, okay? So um, I don't have five darkness people to put in my team, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to put in the best team as I possibly can to, to attack this guy. Um, and to be honest with you, it doesn't really matter. If you you know if you've got somewhat a good team, so as you can see here, I don't know if you can see that there, there's a little darkness thing going on there. I've changed all these things here. Look, you can change that through here. You can swap these in and out between darkness and light. Great. If you really really don't have a good team, this isn't a good score, but I get maximum reward, six. So great. Um, if you don't have a very good team, for example, for, for attacking this element, just save up all your your attacks for the day that you do feel like you've got a really good um, team going on. But um, you know. This is all fine. That's all fine, right? So now we've got some mines, or uh, some hammers rather, and now we're just going to keep on smashing downwards to break up some of these special things. I mean, that's useful. That's useful. That's useful. So you know, you could go across here and up and down, but I just yeah, whatever. You know, things things are not that great that you know you're really going to miss out if you don't collect them all. Um, 
quickly attack this 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 map quick. Uh, you. How much helium we got going on? How much helium we got going on? Uh, this is not it's not worth looking at to be honest because the person we just attacked um, is not that good. So we're going to go down here. We need greys. We need to hit twice. Boring. So we we'll go across here. Now we can break up these three. And the idea is just to keep going down. Keep going down. So as you can see here, nearly every single thing that I've got so far is all within use. I try to go down if I can through the two, you know, the middle. Um, just keep on going down. We want to, you know, we want to rack this number up. You know, I could go across here, but you know, like I said before, you know, the things in here, they're not. It's not, you know, uh, it doesn't matter. They, you know, I'm not. I'm not really going to miss out on anything. There's not, you know, loads and loads of diamonds or whatever you, you know, whatever you need. So we just keep going down as best as we can. Try to avoid, you know, if you can, hitting the doubles. You know, we've got a nice amount here, and that's that. Then we can open up one of these things here. We can see, you know, we've got everything already. We, you know, this is pointless now, but you know, we, we're going to get, um, we're going to get some things that we can use to level up our titans. Mostly, let's quickly attack someone else in arena. Um, it's not really the kind of arena I wanted. To be honest, I was really hoping for one of these horrible arenas that I usually get with like 50 millions, 60 millions in my arena to kind of really put that to the test. But um, let's have a quick look to see if we've got. I'm a little bit all over the place here, but let's see. This looks like it's a good team. Let's see what we got going on here then. Just quickly slow it down. So we got all mages. Wow, what a surprise! What a surprise! Everybody's gone to all mages now. I re I was really, really, really debating about putting out the video of an all eight mage team that you know on YouTube against In In. Um, although you know there were there were a few people that were doing it. Um, now it, it really does feel like everybody, their aunt, uncle, and nan, um, are doing it. So, um, what have you got? So you got this wand. Um, I've got this wand. Right. I've done a little bit extra pure damage. We're doing more. We're doing more damage than you. Um, I mean, it looks like you've got all the bells and whistles. To be honest, it looks like a very similar team to mine. Although you're using this, which is just a dead unit, it's doing zilch. You are better off using, I think, as Archon said, a worker unit. With nothing and somebody with a wand. Um, that's how much of use that is doing at the minute. Um, what else we got going on? So yeah, I mean, that's quite that's quite a solid person. So uh, where's my where's my guys? Not bad. Woo, hello, hello. That's nice. So we really need to kind of like you know go into the. We need we need to do some more some more um more attacks to see if that is um that good. But to be honest with you. Anything kind of like using the scorn, um, this you're, you're you know you're probably gonna be getting most of your healing done from this. Um, it's called scorn, right? Yeah, I have scorn, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, for me, I feel like it's a good. Well, I need I need to test it out against the big the big chaps, you know, to see whether you know if, if I can beat people. Um, I, I might I might show off some big chaps now. If I can beat people that I don't usually beat. With significantly more power than me, that are also running full mage teams. Send you a jewel. Send you a jewel. See if we can get any of these guys. Who's online? No, normally those guys accept pretty quickly. Uh, send you a jewel. I don't know if you're. I don't know if you're running full mage team. I don't know if you are either. I don't know if Lucas is either. Uh, yeah. So let's just wait and see. Anyway, so let's do another attack. What have you got? You got warrior. Well, that's not clever. It's not clever. It's just not. It's just not clever at the moment. I'm afraid. It's not. It's not the go-to at the minute. Well, well, everybody is using all mages at the moment. Um. All right. Let's have a quick look at this. Let's finish it off. Right. So yeah, we've done some done some of this. I don't know what these things. Let's have a look. Can we see what these things do? I think one of them do like line. One of them go down. One of them might, you know, blow a, an end an area, but you know, like I said before, I mean, it's, it's um. I've I've been saying for many, 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 many years now, ever since I pretty much started playing this game and doing videos, that you 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 don't need to spend any money in this game, all right, and um. You you know, if you play this game long enough, you'll end up like a lot of people having far too many good items that you just cannot get rid of you cannot swap them out i mean there, there has to be something absolutely amazing um to come out uh to you know to take out some of the items that i've got for example so that's a nice chest isn't it 
thank you. Um, and I feel like I've barely played. I feel like I've barely played this game. And just within a couple of days, it's done. You know? A couple of days, it's done. Anyway. Um, so let's just attack this boss again. 51. There we go. So, I mean, yeah, we're averaging like 50. Which is fine. Absolutely fine. So, uh, what's the best way to go here? Let's, I, I don't, because they're all in grey, I don't want that. I'm not that interested. Let's just keep going down. Keep going down. We want, you know, we want to keep this number going down, 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 down. Um, that's the idea. But you know, while we're here, we might as well do that one as well. So there we are. Um, have I done everything? So that's that boss we spoke about. There's your extra rewards. Make sure you know get your get your clan going. Make sure you can try and get to the end as well. I feel like we should do. Um, we we probably will. will you know, we'll get that done. Uh, well, I lost. I lost seconds to this person. Who on earth is this person? And I lost time. What are you doing here? You didn't take in nearly 50,000 damage. Um, must, oh, you've got this thing going on. Yeah, you've got this this thing. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of nuisance. A lot of nuisance items in that team. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I guess, you know, more testing needs to be done on certain items. Ooh, what's this? Somebody sent us something. Okay, let's, let's go in and do this. I think, I think this person runs an all-mage team. You know, I said in my last, I said in one of the videos before that you know power doesn't mean anything. Um, there's probably only one occasion when power does mean something, and it's I think it's going to be similar to this. Let's go in and attack this person, and I'll explain what I'm talking about. If this person is running all mages and particularly no warriors, looks like it, all mages. This is a good example of where power means something. Okay, speed things up. Die. Die, die, get rid of that artifact, die, just die, will you, come on, come on, get yourself dead, you know you've lost, just die, there's no need for this, alright, fair enough, there we go, we got you in the end, right, so this is a really good example, um, I mean it's a horrible example to show that that, that, that artifact's really strong um, at the moment, but um, there you are, so use that artifact if you've got it, um, I mean, it, it's good, but the inevitable was always going to happen. He's never going to win. He's going to force a draw, but he's never going to win. You know, you're not going to win with that. It's just, it's just one of these nuisance things. If you've got some other res going on, so possibly ank or something to get your units back up again, um, but you, you, you know, you're never going to kill eight of my guys with one of your units. It's just not going to happen. Um, anyway, so what was I talking about? Um, this is a good example, right, of how when power means something. If I'm attacking somebody with a very, very, very similar, I mean, this is a very similar team to mine, similar artifacts, similar units, similar similar places where you've got your, your alliances, probably similar powers. Um, no, 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 don't use that, don't use that. Um, yeah, yeah, good, good, good. Um, this isn't so good, believe it or not. This, is, this isn't so good, this part. Um, and, and I probably wouldn't, yeah, yeah, it's not that good. Um, yeah, um, so this, this is a good example of where, where power means a little bit, all right? It means a little bit. So if you're running eight mages, eight mages, very similar builds, uh, very similar items, normally the person with the bigger number is going to win. So somewhere here, there's some, let's have a look. So we've got two million more of, of wasted here. I mean, I've got like probably two at least million of wasted heroes so you've probably got four million of wasted hero um you know we've got these things here which do something but you know not not loads and, and these, these are you know quite quite high as well um not needed not needed and i i guess it's just i've got some better items than what this person's got but typically typically this person should win because it's a similar build and they've got way more power than me um, but yeah, you know, we've, we've got all the bells and whistles we have, and we've got some really, really good synergy going on at the moment. So, um, yeah, there's a couple of artifacts that are just, just no good, you know, just no good. It's not bad, but it's not, it's not great. Uh, um, anyway, so, um, so there we are. I'm surprised how much damage that my cultist did. Surprised by that. Killed five people. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, so um, and I didn't check the health. I didn't check how much healing we got. Let's go back to it. 
which one was it? Was it this one? Three minutes, maybe this one. Yeah, it was this one. So how much healing did we get going on? <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway. Yeah. So anyway. So probably. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Um. I think it's going to be a good one. I think it's going to be a good one. All right. Um. Let's see what else. I mean, you know, who? You should be winning. What are you doing? What are you doing? You should be winning or reduce your power. You've got a lot of inflated power here, my friend. Um. Reduce it. And and get some res going on. This is obviously annoying. Um. Maybe think about like not using it on this guy. Maybe, you know, I don't use it on 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 this guy. So maybe think about using it on somebody else. A little hint for you. Okay, uh, there we are. So um, if you're watching, that is. And what else we got going on? Yeah, do these things here. Ranking. Uh, it's a shame there's no skins. You know, if if I I pretty much only go for 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 rank if there's a skin. I mean, this here. Th th these are all very 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 easy to obtain. This one maybe not. This one maybe not. Um, but you know, eventually, yeah. But you know, these these are nothing special. You you're gonna give me this for 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 grinding my butt off for ten days and give me this? No, I want a skin. Um, we spoke a little bit about these things here. I I do not recommend at all buying these. If you want to go and spend 165 diamonds, go and take yourself to the lighthouse and do it this way. So. When you eventually get all the you know this all the way down to zero, this number, each attack costs six diamonds. I'm I, to be honest, I feel like they just pull numbers out of somewhere, um, you know where, and it just doesn't make sense. So six diamonds, I get four tickets or whatever these things are called. I get four of these back. So ten attacks for sixty. I'm going to be getting way more stuff, you know, for for for, for my, you know way more bang for my buck. Um, you know, does that make sense? So, you know, I wouldn't just go out and just, and, and that goes for any event, to be honest. I would not be going to the store uh, and doing this. If you want to spend diamonds, I'm only getting 50. I'm only getting 50 of these, what are these even called? Tickets. Go to the lighthouse, spend 60 diamonds, get 40 tickets back. I mean, does that, I mean, I don't get it. I don't get it. I just don't get it. I don't know. Who who is sat there in some office somewhere thinking that you know spend 165 diamonds we're going to give you 50 tickets. Come to the lighthouse, spend 60 tickets, spend 60 diamonds, we'll give you 40 tickets. What's go and and extra rewards makes absolutely no sense to me, no sense at all. But you know here we are, we still play this game, right? Anyway, look, so um. I think that's it. I think that's all I wanted to ramble on about today. Um, I'm going to be a bit busy next week with some other things going on. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this new event. You know, I'm sorry, I didn't really say where you can, where you can find tickets. It's pretty much everywhere. You can pretty much get tickets everywhere in the game. Where are the tickets? Yeah. No. No, no, no. I want the tickets. Uh, wrong one. Where are the tickets? Yeah. You can pretty much get it anywhere in the game. Any attack gives you something, pretty much. So just do your dailies, do your normal kind of things. You, in my opinion, you really, really, really don't need to grind too much in, during this event. Like I said, I really don't think that there's going to be many things you might miss out on if you can get this, this, and this for free. Wonderful. These will stay in your team for a long time. These, probably not. Um, but if you know, if you don't have some of the items I've got then yeah, then this might stay on your team longer, but um, you know, that's that anyway. So uh, yeah, so that's all I really want to talk about, guys. I hope the video has been helpful. Like I said, if you want me to do some more testing on some things, do let me know in the comments down below. There's, I, I will go through this unit at some point, you know, to help you guys get, um, you know, damage like this kind of thing. But you know, this guy's tanking a lot of damage, but you know, the, normally this is the, the, the best damage dealer in the game if you can find the right right things going on and you can get other people to help boost up some things going on here you can really get these numbers going up high so we'll do a video on that at some point because that is the meta kind of unit at the moment um 
it really is right so uh, yeah we'll leave things there guys i hope the video has been helpful i'll be back again hopefully next week with some some new content if there's anything else new that's going to be coming out we've just had the donkey which the artifact isn't great um, i'm sorry i couldn't do a video on that um, i did get the donkey artifact no good um and, and, and i feel like we're due a treasure hunt event which i'm i'm kind of waiting for but you know it's i mean it's tough at the minute right we've got two guys out out the front door we've got this guy you know loads of offers loads of things you know going on money to spend uh, too many items that we can that we get that we can't use um it's tough it's a tough game at the minute it's a tough game hence why i always kind of say you don't need to spend any money all right anyway i'm gonna um i'm gonna leave things there and as always take care guys